Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shwebhim Vadayo, again here with another informative video related to the power electronics and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller. An AC voltage controller converts the constant AC voltage into the variable AC voltage without change in the frequency. Some main applications of the AC voltage controller are for the domestic and industrial heating, the transformer tape changing, the lightning control and the speed control of the single phase and the three phase AC drives. Since AC voltage controllers are the phase control devices, the thyristors and the trikes are line commutated and such no complex commutation circuitry is required in these controllers. The main disadvantage of the AC voltage controllers is the introduction of the objectionable harmonics in the supply current and the load voltage waveforms particularly at reduced voltage levels. A single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller comprises of a thyristor connected in anti-parallel with a power diode. During the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 is said to be in the forward bias condition. When thyristor 1 or the SCR1 is fired when omega t is equal to the alpha, then the thyristor 1 starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across the load resistor. At omega t is equal to the pi, the current through the SCR1 or the thyristor 1 becomes zero and it is turned off. During the negative half cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the diode D1 becomes forward bias and hence it starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across the load resistor. At omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the current through the diode 1 D1 becomes zero and it is turned off. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the single phase unidirectional AC voltage controller on the MATLAB software. So dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement this circuit diagram of the unidirectional half wave AC voltage controller on the MATLAB software. The AC voltage controller can be defined as it is used to convert the constant AC voltage okay, into the variable AC voltage without change in the frequency means the frequency uh, in this AC voltage controller when it is convert the constant AC voltage into the variable AC voltage is the same one. Now this unidirectional half wave AC voltage controller or the regulator consists of uh, one thyristor and the one diode and both are connected anti-parallel to each other. So now during the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the thyristor 1 is said to be in the forward bias condition and when this thyristor is fired, when omega t is equal to this alpha, then the thyristor 1 starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. And omega t is equal to this pi, the current through this SCR1 becomes 0 and therefore it is turned off. During the negative half cycle of the AC input supply voltage from the omega t is equal to the pi up to that omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 becomes forward bias and hence it conducts the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. And omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 is becomes reverse bias and current through this diode becomes zero and the diode will be turned off. So dear viewers, we have to implement this single phase half wave AC voltage controller circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. Go to the power library. We need AC voltage source. We need resistor. We need ground. For the half wave AC voltage controller, we need a diode, we need a thyristor, okay. For providing the firing pulse to the ACR, we need the pulse generator. We need voltage measurement. We need a scope. So now assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram. Now connect this thyristor and the diode anti-parallel to each other. Okay. So 
connect the ground with the negative terminal of the AC voltage supply. Okay. Connect the AC voltage source to this single phase of AC voltage controller. And this is the pulse generator we are connecting with the gate of this thyristor to provide the firing pulse to this thyristor. We need another ground. Connect the load resistor with this half wave AC voltage controller. So now this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across this load resistor will give us the controlled AC output voltage waveform. Okay. Now go to the scope parameters, make it two number of the ports. This voltmeter will give us the input sinusoidal voltage waveform. Okay. So now this voltmeter which is connected in parallel across this load resistor with the second port of this oscilloscope. So this would give us the controlled AC output voltage waveform and this voltmeter which is connected in parallel with the AC voltage source. So this will give us the input sinusoidal voltage waveform connected with the first port of this oscilloscope. And this is our R load. Okay, resistive load. So now change the parameters of the circuit. 220 volts supply, 50 hertz frequency, 100 ohm load resistor. So this is the thyristor one, TH one, and this is the D one diode. So now our first objective of this experiment is to apply the firing angle to the gate of this SCR1 or the thyristor 1. At omega t is equal to the alpha, means alpha here for the SCR1 or the thyristor 1 is equal to the 45 degree. Then this SCR1 or this thyristor 1 starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. So now go to the pulse generator settings of this SCR1, okay, amplitude 1. Our frequency is 50 Hz, so T is equal to 1 over F, so time period will be in the seconds when frequency is 50, so 1 over 50 is equal to 0 0.02, okay, pulse width 1, okay. So now formula for calculating the phase delay in the MATLAB for this SCR1 is that alpha divided by 360 multiplied by the time period 0.02. So alpha here for this SCR1 is the 45 divided by 360 multiplied by 0 0.02 and phase delay in terms of the seconds will be for this SCR1 when alpha is equal to the 45 degree is 0 0.0025 seconds. Apply. Okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the AC output control voltage waveform of this SCR1 when alpha is equal to the 45 degree and phase delay in terms of the seconds will be for this SCR1 is equal to 0 0.0025 seconds. Run the simulation. So now these are the results of the input and output voltage waveforms in the case of the half wave AC voltage controller. Okay. So now this waveform is the input sinusoidal voltage waveform and this second waveform is the AC output controlled voltage waveform when alpha is equal to the 45 degree for this SCR1. So now during the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 is said to be in the forward pass condition. When the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 gate is fired when omega t is equal to the alpha. So alpha here for this SCR1 or the thyristor 1 is the 45 degree. So then the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. And at omega t is equal to the pi, the current through this SCR1 becomes zero and it is turned off. During the negative off cycle of the AC input supply voltage from omega t is equal to the pi up to that omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 becomes forward bias and hence it, it starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. And at omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 is said to be in the reverse bias condition and the current through this diode 1 
is become zero and it is turned off. So now our second objective of this experiment is to apply the firing angle to the gate of this SCR1 or the thyristor turbine when omega t is equal to the alpha and the alpha here for this SCR1 is equal to the 90 degree then this SCR1 or the thyristor turbine starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. So now go to the pulse generator settings of the SCR1. Okay now. So now formula for calculating the phase delay in the MATLAB for this SCR1 when alpha is equal to the 90 degree then alpha divided by 360 multiplied by 0 0.02 so alpha here for this SCR1 is the 90 degree so 90 divided by 360 multiplied by 0 0.02 and phase delay in terms of the seconds will be for this SCR1 when alpha is equal to the 90 degree is 0 0.005 seconds apply okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the results of the AC output control voltage waveform when alpha is equal to the 90 degree for this SCR1 or phase delay in terms of the SCR1 will be 0 0.005 seconds. Run the simulation. During the positive off cycle of the AC input supply voltage the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 is said to be in the forward bias condition. When the thyristor 1 or the SCR1 gate is fired when omega t is equal to the alpha and alpha here for this SCR1 is the 90 degree then is thyristor 1 or the SCR1 starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. At omega t is equal to the pi the current through this SCR1 or the thyristor 1 becomes zero and it is turned off. During the negative off cycle of the AC input supply voltage from omega t is equal to the pi up to that omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 becomes forward bias and hence it starts conducting the current and input voltage will appear across this load resistor. And at omega t is equal to the 2 pi, the diode D1 is said to be in the reverse bias condition and current through this diode D1 becomes zero and it is turned off. So dear viewers, this was the simulation of the single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller that we have done on the map. So dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the input sinusoidal voltage waveform and also observed the AC output control voltage waveform at the different firing angles using oscilloscope in the case of the single phase half wave unidirectional AC voltage controller. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last. Do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the power electronics, MATLAB simulation and the electrical engineering area. Thank you.